Coach Whistle, what's first off, what is Duke doing at the Flow Nationals? Uh, we're, it's a tough tournament. We got to be here, you know, trying to build a program. It's a place to be on this weekend, so. What do you think of the rules? Do you like the uh, the college rules implemented into it? Yeah, I do. Uh, I mean, I, I think you can kind of tell the guys that hold the top wrestling important, you know, prior to this tournament and focus on those kind of things. They're having a lot of success uh, in that area with a new rule that they're not used to from high school. You, know, so. you love to mix it up. I saw you and Coach Lanham actually wrestling on the floor in Oklahoma City. Yeah. Do you scrap every day? I mean, your face is all bruised up. You're all beat up. You know, you don't, maybe you're doing the beating up, but how much do you mix it up a day, every day a week? Every day. Every day. Uh, wrestling the upper weights every day in the room. Sometimes I even want more, and I'll pick Coach Lanham's brain, get a little wrestling in with him, you know. So it's, I'm passionate about it. I, I'm healthy enough to still mix it up every day and try to be very competitive when I'm doing it and get the guys better. So part of that's just giving my all, too. So. Your conference is growing by leaps and bounds. Duke is growing by leaps and bounds as a program. All-American Hartman fifth at 197 this yep. year. Where's all this coming from in the ACC, man? And I, I, I think the the coaching is. Um, I mean, you see a lot of ACC coaches here. I mean, it's not it's not rocket science. Rocket science to me. Uh, they're getting the right kind of kids in their program, hustling, and uh, that's what, really that's what it takes. So having the right people and uh, coaches in there to develop them. You guys have been raiding states like Ohio. I'm from Ohio. And uh, I look at some of the Ohio kids you're drawing and you get the tough Lexington connection. Got a guy coming up from Perry on the, up on the lake. And you look at the guys that you're bringing in from Ohio and some of these other blue collar states. What does that mean to the program and, 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 get, and moving you guys forward? Uh, like I said, it's, we know the hotbeds of wrestling and the other coaches in the conference know the hotbeds of wrestling. And uh, I mean, if you want to compete with schools in the Big Ten, Big 12, whatever, tough schools in other conferences, it's what you got to do. So just trying to make that happen. We're all competing to get tough kids. So you guys got to be in those tough states. You guys have some – it's really hard to get into Duke. It's a great academic institution. I don't think a lot of people know that. I think they think it's a basketball school, and they think that, you know, they can get anybody in. Yeah. How hard is it to get into Duke, and what kind of students are you looking for as far as grades? Um, generally, three, five around, um, around that with honors AP classes, uh, 26, uh, ACT. That'd five, be a minimum. 550 composite uh, across the board. Well rounded on the uh, SAT, 550, like I said. And um, that's a minimum, yeah. Our golden hand, so to speak, is we have this academic leniency, I guess, to to offer to get into a school like this. And and it's a, a particular individual, uh, somebody that fits the bill. We gotta figure that stuff out from the get-go in the recruiting process and then move on from there. And then we start looking at, and the interest originally was talent, of course, but then you go through the academic things and find the right fit, somebody that wants that. But that's our, that's our minimum requirement. I talked to Coach Cole. And, uh, you know, you come to a tournament like this and you see a guy who's lights out. Then you go and you check the transcripts yeah. and you just can't have them. Is that frustrating? Yeah, it is, but you kind of grow thick skin to it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to happen that way. Everyone's not going to fit the bill. Like I said, it becomes a really narrow yeah. scope. So I think it's like anything. You get, you get a little used to it. You can't take it as earth shattering every time you come across somebody like that so you know you run the risk of this guy not matching up academically so ultimately the acc duke what do you guys got to do to have every team you know let's talk duke obviously what's duke got to do to have two three all americans next year um i i honestly believe it's doable and the most important thing i think that of the individuals we have on our team competing believe it's doable. That accomplishment that Connor Hartman had this year, place in the fifth, it was monu monumental for the program because, I mean, he brings that leadership back. And the guys on the team that are there now, they see that they can do it. And, and that's the talent is in our room. It's just the belief that you should be here. You should be able to wrestle with anybody. We preach that to you. Now you see that you can. So Believe it. Believe it. Yep. We, we, we tell them all the time, we train you as hard as any other coach trains their athletes. And, and now I think they see that 
So. All right, we got set up for the finals here. Anything you're looking forward to tonight? Yeah, just some more tough wrestling. There's some some kids we're looking at. You know, want to want to see them compete well. And uh, I mean, that of course that highlight matchup too. Wilf. Ruth and Wilps. That's oh, gonna it's be gonna be great, right? Look forward to yeah before I hit the road. You know, so see this finals out and then head on back. All right, coach. You got anything else for me? Go flow. Go Duke.